Hi everyone. It's dark. It's 7.07 p.m. I am in the midst of it, attempting to get Portillo's in Chicago. And I wanted to record myself because not so much anymore, but I used to have a lot of anxiety. I actually have a lot of anxiety right now because the line is literally wrapped around the block. But I think what I'm actually gonna do is go inside. So we'll see. This is what people are doing on a Saturday night. Like our priorities are different now. This is how Poppin' Portillo's be on a Saturday night. I'm going inside. I'm facing my fucking fears. Hey everyone! Today we're having Portillo's. This has been long overdue. Um, I should have gotten onion rings, I know for next time. I got their chocolate cake shake, a regular Coke, two Chicago style hot dogs, a big, I call it a big beefy, but it's a big beef. Uh, the fries and a double char burger. I don't have any condiments. Although the fries are really salty today, so I should probably get some ketchup, so I'll be RB. Okay, so just so you know, I'm probably gonna only eat half of each of each thing, just cause, as Angelica Spicy says, hashtag health. Man, it was so crazy just facing my fears. I went inside as opposed to the drive-thru. I try to take a clip of it. Yo. The drive-thru was packed. So we're gonna do the Chicago style dog first. I hope you can kind of see it. I'm still working on my setup, so thank you for bearing with me. Here it is, first bite. That's just a dog. If you ever come to Chicago, just like if you've ever been to California, you know how some people who will go to California, the first thing they do when they land is go to an In-N-Out, the nearest In-N-Out. If you land yourself in Chicago, layover, if it's long enough, whatever, go to your nearest Portillo's. This is the classic. I should have gotten onion rings, but this is the standard from what they get from the popular items. Other than their salads, their salads are pretty good. I remember seeing David Dobrik and Trisha Paytas getting Portillo's. And ever since then, I was like, man, I need to do Mortillo, a Mortillo's, a Portillo's mukbang someday. You know what's crazy? A friend of mine took me to his show, Dobrik, probably like 2015, 2016. And I didn't get into YouTube until 2018, so I really had no idea who these people were, but 
my friend was really into YouTube and is a YouTube creator. So I went to go check it out. It was downtown at the Chicago Theater. Chocolate cake shake. Oh, I'm spilling chocolate everywhere. They put a whole ass chocolate cake in here. <coughs> it's good, but sometimes you can cough on the brownie bits. So I go to this show and it was a lot of fun. But Trisha was there and I had no idea who these people were and I kid you not, it was a bunch of screaming teenage girls. Shrilling screams. And I had missed the mark, I had missed the memo. I was like, who are these people? But the coolest thing was, the only two people that I knew were his friends backstage. He brought out John Stamos and uh, what was that pug? Molly the pug or Doug the pug? John Stamos came out for 2.5 seconds holding Doug the pug. And I lost my shit. <laughs> I was one of those shrilling teenage girls. Dude, Uncle Jesse, he got it going on. Even now, that man just like barely ages. It's crazy watching celebrities age. Because some of them, like John Stamos, look really young, but you can tell they've matured. And people like Paul Rudd just look like they're a vampire. Somebody recently requested I do that after drinking. And it's funny because my hubby has caught me doing that before. Have you ever, you know, just especially in the summertime with a nice cold pop. Oof. So quenching. But soda is like cigarettes. It's never enough. You know, you get that hit, you get that sugar sensation, you get that nicotine rush, and you just want more. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. Mmm. This is, if you wanna know what a classic Chicago hot dog should taste like, it's Tillos. It's just a nice, soft, but like at the same time, hard snap of a dog. Like the wiener isn't too hard. Perfect. Perfect. Oh man. I forgot the gravy. I got gravy for the beef. This looks dry as hell. I got this trick from my mom. I never used to be a fan of gravy, but I've been missing out. I kind of compare it to me. I used to get my steaks well done before I knew, you know, the rarer the better. I didn't like my cow mooing, you know? I don't like it red. I don't like it bleeding. But you gotta make it wet. You gotta make it juicy. It's so funny how food is so much correlated to sex. I think that's why people like watching mukbangs. Like I think perverted people are the ones that just like mukbangs. This side is soggier and this side is harder. Mm, this will just. Mm. All the gravy.
This means I have to eat the burger now because this one just tried to eat it. Here, you better not get sick. I was actually scared he was gonna jump up and just grab it. <laughs> get out of here. Like I said, I'm working on my setup, so the lighting's not the best, but thank you for bearing with me. Mm-hmm. trust you bear get out of here so I was thinking about the days that I used to get FOMO, fear of missing out, you know? And looking back, I think it's so ridiculous because half the time, So think about it, you're at home, right? You're sick or you just don't feel like going out and you're on social media scrolling and all your friends are out partying, they're posting pictures, they're tagging each other. You're friends with all of them. You're like, what the F? Or what's even worse is if you're not even invited. But think about the times when you were at the party. In my experience, half the time, people who were there were not even talking to one another really and were just on their phones the whole time, making sure to post the pictures and check-ins and comments and likes to make it seem like they're having a funner time than they actually were. But even so, like, where did that even come from? It's crazy how we're so drilled to be a part of a group, you know? To be accepted. So, if anything, Um, I lost my train of thought. Barry's just staring at me. Oh yeah, if anything, I have you guys. My little group of Loopings. I read this story once about how some lady ate a Portillo's Italian beef sandwich every day and she was in perfect health.
And then there were debates that it's like not really that fattening for you. It's so crazy hearing stories about people who eat some crazy shit every day and they're like perfectly fine. So yeah, FOMO. If you're young or in your 20s, maybe you're watching this because you're bored and hungry and your friends are having fun without you, you're not missing much. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If I could rewind time to my early 20s, my 20s, I would not go out. I would not party. Nah, whom I couldn't. But if it's any word of advice, I would just say try to invest more time into yourself than your social life. But at the same time, that's what your 20s are for. Just know that you're never going to talk to those people again. And it wasn't worth it. All those hangovers and money spent. Maybe one night stand. Not worth it. The gravy spilled over here, so I moved everything over here. That hot dog filled me up. I have a little appetite, y'all. I don't know what it is. I hope you enjoyed this. More to come. Deliciousness. Let me know if you have any special requests. Keep it PG, please.